Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. Bitch, yes, I am like, I feel like a, I feel like a ballerina, bitch. I feel like a twerking ballerina girl these sleeves i don't know how to act with this shirt bitch i do not i feel like i'm a parachute i'm a like a girl I, i'm charlie's angels bitch i'm a bat i don't know what the hell i'm i love it girl i got it at ross for those wondering it was 8.99 um listen we gotta talk how are you guys happy friday i hope you guys are ready for the weekend what exciting plans do you have let me know in the comments below um i'm so grateful and thankful to be here with you guys and i'm really just so honored and grateful that you guys even clicked on the video so thank you so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button we got to talk we got to talk about taylor swift and travis kielsey Kiel, kills kielsey kels girl whatever i don't really care um we got to talk about them because so you guys know uh taylor swift she started her heiress tour in argentina last night and um a lot of people were like girl where's travis where's travis where's travis well he arrived today so that's like a little update on that he just arrived today I do have to wonder something, and, and this is just something that has been on my mind. Like, how many times does he have to see the Eros tour? Like, no, and I'm not I'm not trying to be shady because I I love Taylor. But if if your boyfriend, like, okay, let's let's just th I'm gonna think about it. If my boyfriend was on tour, would I wanna see him and go to every single show? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I feel like maybe yes, but I also feel like I don't know. And I feel like, you know, if like she supports him, of course he has to support her. But then at the same time, like, you know, would you get tired of each other so much? I don't know. And it's if it's so brand new in their relationship, should he go to every single show? That's a question I have for you guys. But anyways, um, there is some reports coming out on uh, online about Taylor Swift allegedly wanting to change her body in order to, you know, spice up the relationship and be you know this other you know have the perfect body for travis so basically um radar online is reporting that taylor is committed to getting her dream body um amid her budding romance with star travis sources close to the pop star said swift is on a mission to get a bigger butt <laughs> and has hit the ground running with her fitness plan. She's learning everything she can about how to do it naturally with squats and nutrition. Her training is on board and, ha and has promised to help her add some serious muscle to her booty. So this is causing some kind of like little back and forth, uh, uh, like the opinions are opinionating, okay? Because, oh girl, don't fall. Because here's the thing, right? Um, some people are like, well, why should Taylor Swift change herself for you know for for anyone right so this actually it really does open a conversation um you know travis maybe one time said girl did you see that booty on j-lo i love a good booty and then taylor was like uh oh squat time you know or this is what she's always wanted to do she's always maybe wanted a bigger butt but here's the thing, and I, I've been seeing the comments, you know, some people are like, well, you shouldn't change for a man you, you, you know, or, or a spouse. You should do it for yourself. Like, you know, it, why all of a sudden Taylor wants a bigger booty now? And uh, girl, sometimes I wonder, it is so funny the things I talk about. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking about Taylor Swift wanting to get a bigger booty. But it is about a, actually an important conversation to have, bitch, because I remember I was dating this guy, right? I was dating this guy. And uh, so I've always had like um, like a body dysmorphia eating disorder thing. And I, it, you know, it's easy for me to say it because I feel like it's important to be able to be transparent and clear and just, you know, hopefully if I could, you know, maybe um, it, motivate anyone or encourage anyone to be true to themselves and just kind of come out and say it, you know, I think and help them in any way, then then I'll say it. But of course, there are many years I, I couldn't say it. But anyways, I remember I was dating this guy, we only went on like, you know, we dated like a month or two. But I remember that he was, he was always so he was like, obsessed with with being like fit and skinny. And like, you know, he was so careful with what he ate. And I just remember like on our first couple of dates, he would, you know, we would, if we would go out to a restaurant or whatever, he would like kind of 
non-direct shade me like you know these portions are huge like who could finish this and i'm like on my last bite you know so things like that and i remember that like when i wouldn't see him i would like practically starve myself i would maybe have like some cheese and maybe like a boiled egg or something because i wanted the next time he would see me for me to be like super not bloated and super like you know flat tummy and stuff and i just remember like you know thinking it's so sad that I just can't be me. Like, what if I want to have another bread basket? What if I want to finish that plate? What if I, I, what if I do get bloated? Like, how can I be with somebody who, you know, does this? And, you know, he did continue to, you know, as, as I was losing weight, he would be like, oh my God, like you're never, you never looked better. This and that. So of course it would, you know, negatively encourage me to continue my, my, my very bad eating habits until one day I, you know, I, I had a breakdown cause I literally almost fainted and I was like, you know, if, if this is, I have not been being real. Um, and anyways, he did dump me because, you know, I started kind of, you know, going back to my ways of just like eating a meal or two a day. Um, but so since then, I really learned, you know, never change who you are for anybody. If they, if they don't love you for you, if they don't love you for all of your flaws and all, like there's no point in, in you can always improve yourself for yourself. And that is what I'm hoping Taylor is doing, that she is wanting that bigger Kardashian booty for herself, you know, um, or just girl, get the BBL, get the BBL, honey, the, the squats and stuff, bitch, you have money, girl, you have money, get the damn BBL. You think, you think me having all that fucking money, I'm going to fucking go to the gym at 6 a.m. in the morning and then do an Eros tour fucking concert. That girl sings like for four hours straight. You think I'm going to fucking do that, bitch? Oh, no, bitch. Inject my booty. Inject my booty, oh, girl. Um. So, yeah, I mean, the conversation is very simple. You know, if Travis likes a bigger booty and he's she's doing it for him, I mean, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like, look, if you want to do it for yourself, amazing. But never change yourself for anybody, I swear. Um. Now there is motivation, you know, if, if she's always wanted a bigger booty and, and then she found out that he loves bigger booties, you know, she's like, okay, you know, maybe this is a sign for me to get it. But I don't want anyone to ever feel pressured to change who they are for somebody else, you know? And I think that a lot of different, um, I think a lot of us actually grew up in a very toxic environment where, you know, we were controlled of what we ate. We were, you know, probably fat shamed, body shamed, you know, by family members, classmates, even parents. And I feel like the last thing we need as adults is to be with somebody who makes us feel less than or makes us feel not, you know, perfect the way we are because it's already such a struggle to 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 have, you know, a body type that is not accepted by, you know, the 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 perfect aesthetic era that we're living in. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, should you change for the one you love? You know, should you what do you guys think about this? Because I have definitely seen a lot of comments saying, I mean, if your partner wants, you know, likes a certain thing, you know, you should, you know, cater to that. But I'm, I don't know if I, like, I don't know if I would be, I've been married for 10 years. Like, I don't know if I would, I would do that. You know, like, I don't know. But girl, I do have to say, God did bless me with a real big booty. So, I mean, my husband, girl, he is satisfied, boo. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. And if I had a flat ass bitch, you better be satisfied too, okay? Um. Anyways, girl, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous weekend. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Mwah.